Hi right, guys, welcome back to another 360p video. This one today is centered around an idea called around the clock. What you need, you'll need a water bottle, a ball, and as you can see around me, I've got 12 bits of paper numbered 1 to 12 in the shape of a clock. If you have a pen and paper at home to create a similar sort of thing, great. If not, then 12 different household items, again, shaped like a clock, would work perfectly. So we're going to give you 30 seconds now to get that set up. If you need longer, please pause the video. Okay guys, hopefully you're all set up now, so we're going to move on to the first thing we need to do, which is a warm-up. In 15 seconds time, we're going to start the first section of our warm-up, which is just jogging on the spot, and then every 20 seconds, we're going to do five star jumps. Okay, so make sure you've got a nice space in the center of your clock, and we're going to start in three, two, one, let's go. So we're jogging on the spot, and every 20 seconds, we're going to do some star jumps, okay? Five star jumps every 20 seconds. I'll guide you through when that time is. Don't need to worry about that. So we've got five seconds. Just over five seconds, and so we're going to do our first five star jumps. Three, two, one. Okay. One, two, get nice and wide. And then straight back into jogging on the spot again. Excellent. Well done. The next 20 seconds starts when we're our five star jumps are finished. Okay. So we've got 15 seconds left of jogging on the spot. Then we're going to do five star jumps again. In three, two, one. One, let's go. Nice and wide. Perfect. Jogging on the spot again. Just over 15 seconds. Then we're going to do five more star jumps. We're nearly finished after that. Got about 30 seconds left for this activity. Really good. About six seconds and then we're going to do our next five star jumps. In three, two, one. Okay, next five. Back into jogging on the spot. Got this 20 seconds jogging on the spot, and then that's the first part of our warm up over and done with. We'll do five star jumps at the end of this just to finish off that first section of our warm up. In five seconds, you're going at a nice pace, not too fast. Three, two, one, five star jumps to finish. And you've got a 30 second rest where you are, and then we're going to move on to the next part. I'll talk about that in about 15 seconds. Just get your breath where you are, don't go and get a drink just yet. I'm going to go and get a drink after this next part of a warm-up. Okay, so the next 90 seconds of our warm-up, we're going to do 30 seconds marching, 30 seconds elbow to knee, and 30 seconds touching our toes. I'll guide you through it. We're going to start in 10 seconds. We're going to start in 10 seconds with marching, okay? So that's opposite elbow to knee, up, like you're marching, okay? Starting in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Just exactly like what I'm doing, just marching. Knee up nice and high, elbow up as well. Opposite knees, if my left knee's up, it's my right elbow. If my right knee's up, it's my left elbow, okay? 30 seconds of this, and 15 seconds, well done. Another 10 seconds of this, then we're on to the next section which is elbow to knee. Very similar, just touching our elbow to our deep knee that time. Okay, in three, two, one. Similar movement, you're just touching your elbow into your knee now. Make sure it touches every time. You might need to bring your elbow down a bit. You're also going to need to bring your knee up a bit higher as well. 20 seconds left of this. And then we're moving on to toe, toe touches for the last part of the warm up. Okay, 10 seconds left. Really good, keep going. It's going to start to get a bit tired now, don't give up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. So you're touching the inside of your foot now. Right hand to left foot, left hand to right foot. We're going to do that for 25 more seconds, and that's our warm up over and done with. Well done, that's it. Keep touching the inside of those feet. 15 seconds left, and then the warm up's done. We'll have a little break. Last 10 seconds. Good stuff. Just over 5 seconds there. 
three, two, one. Okay, well done guys. That's the end of our warm up. We're gonna have a two minute break now, okay? We'll put a timer on screen. We're gonna come back and start with the first section. Okay guys, welcome to the first section. So we've done the warm up, we've had a little break, we're gonna get started now. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a fitness movement in the middle of our clock, and then we're gonna be moving to certain numbers. Okay, so the numbers we're gonna be moving to are gonna vary each activity, but I'm, I want you to work clockwise and anti-clockwise, okay? Give me a little challenge to see if you know what they mean. To start with, the first exercise we're gonna do in the middle is high knees okay really simple if you don't know what high knees are it's like this you can do it slow if you're a bit more confident you can go faster so we're going to do five high knees in the middle and then we're going to go clockwise to the even numbers okay so clockwise means we're working around the clock the way that the hands would go okay so we're going to start in five seconds four three two one so we're in five high knees and then we're going clockwise to the even numbers. So we go to two first. You just move into those numbers any way you like, okay? Then we're into four. I'm gonna to start to build up my high knees now. Okay, then to six, back into the middle, then to eight, really simple, then to ten, then to twelve. Back into the middle, and we've got a 30 second rest now, okay? So, the next exercise is going to be a speed bounce. That means you're just jumping forwards and backwards on the spot, okay? We're going to work anti clockwise on the even numbers now, okay? So, clockwise means we're going the correct way around the clock, anti clockwise means we're going the other way, so we'll go to 12 to 10, and so on. You'll move into those numbers. Any way you'd like to start with, we'll make it more complicated as we go. So starting in 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 5 speed bounces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to 12. And again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to 8. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to six. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to four. One, two, three, four, five. And lastly to two. And 30 seconds rest in the middle. If you're a bit ahead, because you're faster than me, or if you're a bit behind, now's your time 
to catch up, you'll either have a longer rest or a shorter rest, okay? The next exercise that we are going to do is going to be tuck jumps. And we're going to work clockwise to the odd numbers. So we're going to be going to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11, okay? Tuck jumps, for those of you that don't know what they are, keeping your knees nice and tight and jumping. These are quite hard, so we're going to do three of them per number that we move to, okay? Starting in 10 seconds. You can move to that number any way you like still, and we will change that next activity. Starting in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. So three top jumps, keep your knees high. One, two, three, and we're going to one. And again, three top jumps in the middle. We're now going to three. Back to the middle. Now we're going to five. Back to the middle. To seven. To nine. Lastly to eleven after our last three. And thirty seconds rest again. Good stuff so far, get your breath back. I'll explain the next activity in 15 seconds. Okay, next activity we are going to do is mountain climbers, okay? So your hands about a shoulder width apart, you're on your hands and knees, with your hands and feet, go up into almost a plank position, and you're going to bring your knee to your chest. Alternating knees, five of those. Let's catch one. <laughs> um, and we're going to be working uh, anti-clockwise to the odd numbers, okay? So we're going to start at 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, and then 1. Starting in 10 seconds. Okay, 5, 4, Get down now, get ready. Three, two, one. So one, two, three, four, five. Can we get to 11? Back in and back down again. One, two, three, four, five. So nine. Back into the middle. One, two, three, four, five. So seven. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. So five. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. To three. Back to the middle. One, two, three, five. And to one. Back to the middle. And 30 seconds rest. One more activity, guys, and I'll explain that in 20 seconds. your rest. Don't go and get a drink just yet. We'll have a break after this activity. Just stay and get your breath back. Okay, so the last activity is in-out jumps. You're going to be in the same position you were for mountain climbers. We can have your feet together. Out, in. That's one, two, three. You're going to do five of them. Then when we stand up, when we travel to the number this time, you're going to jump, okay? So, I was going to four, Two for the jump, then back to the middle. You're going to go clockwise to the even numbers this time, okay? Starting in 10 seconds. Five to get down. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And up clockwise to the even numbers. So two first. Get in, back down again. One, two, three, four, five. And we get to four. Remember, we're jumping this time. Oh, I forgot the first time. Make sure you're jumping. One, two, three, four, five. Up. And we're jumping to six. And back in. One, two, three, four, five. Jump into eight. Two more to go, and then we're done. Good stuff. One, three, four, five. Jump into ten. 
Back in. Last one, we're going to 12 and that's it. One, two, four, five. And we're jumping to 12. Back to the middle. And well done. In two minutes, guys, get a drink, have a rest, and we'll come back to the last section. Okay guys, so we've had your two minute break now. For the next section, you're gonna need a ball, okay? So I've got a size three football. If you have a larger ball at home or a smaller ball, doesn't matter too much. You might even roll up a pair of socks and use them as a ball, okay? If you really have nothing else at home. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do an exercise with the ball in the middle. Again, we'll be doing five reps of that exercise, and then we'll be going off to the numbers. This time, to make it a bit more challenging again, so before we were going clockwise and anti-clockwise in odd and even numbers, this time we're going to be working in multiples, okay? So I might say multiples of three, in which case we go to three, then to six, then to nine, then to twelve, okay? So just get your brain thinking a little bit. The first exercise we're going to start with in 20 seconds is just simply stand in the middle, throw in a catch in. Really simple, okay? Be careful of the ceiling you have at home if you're outside, that's not as bad, but you probably want to be going just above your head height. Don't bring your hands up to catch the ball like that. Let the ball come back down again, okay? Five reps, then back to the middle. Again, you're gonna to travel to the number anywhere you like. You can go forwards, you can go sideways, and we'll start to make it a bit more complicated as we go. We're gonna go in multiples of three. We're gonna go twice around the clock, guys, okay? So starting in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. So just five throw and catches. Five throwing catches, then we're going in multiples of three. So the first multiple of three is, of course, three. Then back to the middle, and then five throwing catches again. The next multiple of three is, of course, six. Okay, back to the middle. Well done. Five throwing catches again. And then the next multiple of three, nine. Back to the middle, that's it. You can count your catches out loud while you're doing them if you like. Makes it a bit easier. Perfect. And of course, 12. Remember, we're going twice round the clock. Twice round the clock in multiples of three. So we're going to go back to three again after this one. Back to three. Back to the middle. Three, four, five. Again, going to six again, okay? And back to the middle. Nine, back to the middle, last, last rep, and twelve, and back to the middle. Okay guys, 30 seconds rest, I'll explain the next activity. What we're going to do, we're going to take that one a step further, 
and we're going to try and clap in between as we throw the ball up, okay? One clap is absolutely fine. You might want to challenge yourself and add two claps in, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And we're going to work in multiples of two, okay? So that's very similar to what we did in the first section. We'll be working on multiples of two, so we'll be going uh, on the even numbers around the clock. Start in five seconds, guys, okay? Again, move to that number any way you like. If you want to add a hop or a skip or a jump, entirely up to you. Three, two, one, let's go. Five reps. One, two, three, four, five. Then to two, back into the middle. I'm confident after I've done this one that I might start to add in two claps, okay? So build up your confidence. Going to four, back to the middle. I might add in two claps now. And my next number is six. Don't throw it so high that you're going to hit your ceiling at home, okay? You have to go back to one clap, and that's absolutely fine. As long as you're making an attempt at this movement. I'm off to eight, back to the middle. Three, four, five, I'm off to ten. One more, back to the middle. Three, four, five, off to twelve. Back to the middle, okay guys, 30 seconds rest. And we're gonna move on to the next one. The next one, I want you guys to jump with two feet to multiples of four. We're gonna go twice around the clock, okay? So that's four, eight, 12, four, eight, 12. The activity we're gonna do in the middle is we're gonna bounce this ball continuously. So for five reps, one, two, three, four, five. If you can use two hands, great. If you only need to use one, that is also Absolutely fine, okay? If you have a smaller ball at home and it's a bit harder to bounce, you might want to do drop, bounce, catch, or to challenge yourself again, you might want to go on one knee and try and do it. Whatever you feel comfortable with, guys, okay? Starting in five seconds. Remember, multiples of four. We're going to jump there. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Pick my ball up. I'm going to jump to my four, back to the middle. One. Two, three, four, five. Jump into eight this time. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Jump into twelve this time. Turn around, not twelve. Back to the middle. Then we're going twice around the clock. So we're back to four again. Back to the middle, okay? Going to eight again this time. Back to the middle. Last five reps. 12, and back to the middle, okay, 30 seconds rest guys, and I'll explain the next activity, okay, now the last two activities, you need the ball on the floor, okay, the first one is toe tap, some of you may have heard of this before, really simply your ball should be still, the easy version of this is just one foot on top of the ball, then the other foot, okay, as you build your confidence up, you might want to be going a little bit faster you're getting your knees up. The ball should not be rolling all over the place. If it will roll a little bit, that's perfectly normal. But if it's rolling around, then just go back to simply touching the ball. Your foot must have contact with the ball. We're going to work in multiples of three again. We're going to go anti-clockwise this time. Multiples of three, okay? Starting in 10 seconds. Five toe taps in the middle. Leave your ball where it is. Anti-clockwise in multiples of three. Starting in three, two, once we've got the basic version to start with, two, three, four, five, anti-clockwise in multiples of three. So I've gone to 12, back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five, I'm now going to nine. You guys might want to hop to your number, you might want to skip, you might want to jump, that's absolutely fine. Three, four, five, where's my next multiple of three? That's six, and back to the middle. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, off to three. And back to the middle. Now I'm going to go a bit faster. One, two, three, four, five. And then get back to 12. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Off to nine. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Off to six. Back to the middle. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Off to three. And back to the middle. Okay, guys, 30 seconds rest. And we're going to move on to the last one. Your ball still needs to be on the floor for this last one. Okay. We're going to work anti-clockwise in multiples of four, twice around the clock, okay? So that'll be 12, 8, 4, 12, 8, 4, 
then we are finished. The activity we're doing here in the middle, five reps up again, like before. We're going to roll the ball with our foot from one side to the other. Okay, we're going to do that five times. If you've got a smaller ball, it's going to be slightly harder. Maybe you go down on one knee and you do it with your hands if that's too difficult. But you want, ideally, to be rolling it from side to side with your feet, okay? We're going to start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop your ball, then go to your number. Come to 12. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Stop your ball, then I'm off to eight. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Stop the ball, off to four. And again, last three reps. One, two, three, four, five. Off to 12. Back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Stop your ball, off to eight. Back to the middle, last one. One, two, three, four, five. Stop your ball, off to four. Back to the middle and stop there. Guys, fantastic work. One minute break and then we'll come back for a cool down. Great stuff. Okay guys, great work so far. We're gonna finish off now with a cool down, okay? So we're gonna work on the using the numbers on the clock, 12, three, six, and nine. We're gonna do exercises to each of those numbers. We'll always come back to the middle. We're gonna do three or four exercises just to cool our bodies down, and then we will be finished. So the first exercise we're gonna do is simply just walk into those numbers, okay? So you're gonna turn, you're gonna walk to 12, back to the middle, Walk to three, then to six, then to nine, okay? The reason we're doing this, yes, you've had a short rest, but not as long as the previous ones. So just allowing your body temperature to come back down to normal, okay? This time, we're going to be walking out to those numbers, we're going to be rotating our arms forward, okay? So 12, three, six, nine again. We're going to walk out to 12, always back. To the middle, to three. Some of you will have a bigger space than others. That's fine. To six. Back to the middle again. Then to nine. Okay. Next exercise we're going to do, we're going to roll our arms backwards. Again to those four numbers. Twelve. Three, six, and nine. This time, we're going to walk on our tiptoes. Again, it's the same four numbers, okay? Keep it nice and simple because we don't want to be working uh, for too long here because we're cooling ourselves down. So just on your tiptoes, we're just going to walk through those numbers. Always back to the middle every time. Just a nice stretch for your, for your calves, this. Okay, to six. Back to the middle. Nine. Back to the middle. Okay, and the last one, what we're going to do, again, those four numbers like we have been, and you're just going to sweep the floor as you go. Try and keep your legs nice and straight, okay? Sweep the floor. It might only be two or three steps, that's fine. Then just walk back to the middle and then sweep your floor on the way to the next number. 
every step, every couple of steps, doesn't matter. Then walk back to the middle. So we've done 12 and 3. I'm off to 6 now. Try and point your toe up. This is good for the back of your leg, your hamstring. Walk back to the middle. Out to 9. And back to the middle. Excellent work today, guys. Hope you enjoyed yourself and get again in the future. Check our channel for some other videos.